Hello my lovelies and welcome to Amanda's Crafty Corner. I am Amanda and this is my Crafty Corner. Well today is Thursday and that means Diamond Painting Thursdays and we are picking up from where we left off last week which is with the letter Z and we're going to see if we can somewhat complete this today if not what well, we've got next Thursday as well. How is everyone? I hope everyone is having a wonderful Thursday. I got off of work early, which is why I'm recording a little bit earlier. It is 20 to 5 my time, which is EST. So I figured I would record a little bit earlier today. And we'll continue on, like I said, with these lovely. Z, Z, however you pronounce it. So, yeah. Uh, I do have a little bit of the sniffles. I am getting over a cold or gaining a cold. I don't even know anymore. Like I said before, my little one has been sick. And, you know, when your, your kids are sick, you always cuddle them. And snuggle them, which means you also get ill. But that's okay. I have my tea, which is like that pomegranate one that I was drinking the last time. I'm just waiting for it to cool down some before I take a sip. So I will definitely be taking a break in a little bit to drink it, you know, help my throat. And because of all of this and with my little one having the fever, I've been wearing a mask at work. Just so that I don't, you know, infect anybody else. So yeah, how's how's everybody's week been? I hope it's been good. Um not much to really say on my friend. I did a little more of my autumn lantern. I will post a picture very, very soon of it. I know I keep saying I will. I just keep forgetting, to be honest. Last night I really wanted to work on it, but um, William unfortunately did not want to go to sleep early. I think it was 10 30 when he finally fell asleep and i'm just like ah uh, that means i get like 20 minutes to have some downtime and that is it but that's okay it is okay Because, you know, that, that's what happens when you're a mom. You really don't get you time until they're asleep. But if they don't go to sleep till late, then you barely get any time. So I think it was like close to 12, 12.30 when I actually went to sleep. So I got a little bit done of that. And after I'm done recording, I'm going to eat a very quick dinner. And then I will get back into cross-stitching. My Mickey and friends. And we'll we'll see what happens tonight. If he goes to bed early, kudos. If he doesn't, that's okay too. We will like I'm just gonna take it by ear. Cause that is all you can do. Uh work was good. I think I said it a couple times. So I got my eyes examined today. Uh, my eyes have changed a little bit, not not a lot, but my right eye is trying to work harder than it needs to, so I'm getting a new pair of glasses, which are the same ones that I am wearing now, just in a different pair, just in a different color. And then I've asked the optician to also change out the lenses in the, these glasses, just so that my eye is not overworking itself. Um, but yeah, everything everything seems to be okay with my eyes. There's there's no complaints. I did get dilated, and I really didn't want to, but I did. 
So it was really funny to watch me because I was super close to the computer at first. And then I would apologize to the patients and be like, I'm so sorry. I got dilated like you did. So I'm like pushing myself away so I could actually see the writing on the screen. So yeah, my, my distance is my issue. I can see perfectly fine up close, but distance and computer screens, no bueno. So bubble in here. So let's fix that bubble. Okay, maybe not. I'll just leave it. Uh, apparently I draw. Just unless, nope, that was his head. right there. I love it when I pick them up and they're like right here, not even on the pen. Don't know how that happens, but I'll go with it. I will go with it. Uh, I'm just trying to think of what else I can say. Weather here is autumn. In the morning, it's cold. In the afternoon, it's warm. In the evening, it's cold again, so I bring, like, my autumn and spring jacket with me in the mornings. And then sometimes I'm taking it off as I'm working. I'm not working when I'm walking home, just because that sun is still super, super bright. And then, yeah, at night, it's, it's pretty cold here. And it's only going to get colder. Uh, they're calling for another horrible winter, and despite winter being in December, our winters actually start at the end of October. The reason why I say that is because in October, we sometimes get snow. Definitely frost, but we sometimes get snow. So, weather here is a hit or miss, I won't lie. Weather here is a hit or miss. But that's okay. I like the cold. Not too, too cold, but like what it's been right now I can handle. Yeah, I have a weird body. My body doesn't like super hot and it does not like super cold. It will shut down on me like I just want to sleep all the time. Does anybody else feel like that? I know my partner prefers really, really, really hot. But that's because he's from Barbados and Grenada, where it's always hot. My my parents, one is from the mountains in Calabria, and the other one is not. That That's all I can really say. <laughs> So one's used to the cold and the hot, and the other one's just used to the warm. And I'm planning to put an order in soon. I found some more stuff that I want. So I don't know when I'm going to put that order in. I'll put it in very, very shortly. Uh, hopefully I'll have some more Halloween designs. If not, well, I've got the... The four mice and the witch. So we've we've got stuff to work on. I'm excited. Sorry to cut my thought off. I'm looking at more Zeds. Of course, if I don't see them now, I'll see them as I complete more and more. I think that's it, but I'm just going to leave it in its tray just in case. So we're going to get color 224. You know what? I'm not going to move that. That's okay. Two twenty four, which is the F's. And like I said, we're slowly getting this done. I'm super, super excited for us. Let's 
super, super excited. Uh, what else can I talk about? <laughs> Has anybody seen? Oh, at work today, we were talking about the new My Big Fat Greek Wedding 3. Is anybody going to go see that? Has anybody seen anything new? Um, any new news with anybody here? Because I honestly have nothing new since Monday. Um, I'm fairly boring. I won't lie. I'm, I'm pretty boring. I've just been cross-stitching, diamond painting, hanging out with my son, working. Played a little bit of ESO. I'm proud of myself. I made, I have enough um, in-game currency that I've bought literally every single DLC that ESO has. So I have over 200 hours worth of gameplay on top of the game, like the actual game. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I'm excited. I play that with a friend. Um, even though she doesn't have most of the DLC, that's okay. We play what we can together. Because there's some areas that are absolutely gorgeous and fun to play. And there's others that are just kind of like, uh, uh. Yeah, that's my noise. <laughs> So, yeah, that, that's on that front. I'm almost done watching Lord of the Rings. I'll probably watch them tomorrow. Either tomorrow or if uh, Corey takes William for Saturday or Sunday. One of the days. Basically, when he takes William for the day, he does, like, father-son bonding because I have him... Like, I have them all day on Tuesday. I have them all day on um, Saturday or Sunday. Just, again, it just depends on when he wants to have him. Again, we're, we're, we're not divorced or anything. It's just when you live with your parents and you want some of that one-on-one -on -one time, it's, it's, it's hard to have. So, yeah. Until we have our own house, that's just how it's going to be. But that's okay. It doesn't bother me. It gives him a chance to have a day where he can relax without thinking about anything. And then it gives me a day to do whatever I want. Which is mostly cross-stitching and diamond painting. Um. Yeah, that, that's basically it. What else can I talk about? I know my eyes are hurting right now because of the dilation. Oh, boy. And for those that are curious, these are my glasses. They're nice. I'll try to... Here, let's do this. They're nice blue. So it's different shades of blue. They're guess. We've got the bling on the side. So I ordered them in like a black and a brown. So pretty. There we go. Because that's what happens when you work in an optometrist office that sells their own glasses. You just want to buy all the pretty glasses, even though they cost an arm and a leg. So I'm changing the lenses in these ones, and then I am getting the new pair. And I like having a backup pair, just in case one breaks. I'm sure those that wear glasses understand. Uh, 
Um, and my glasses are single vision. I just need them for distance and computers because I can't see very, very far. And computers, I don't know how to describe it. My eyes are weird. My eyes are very, very weird. The doctor laughed at me today for that. I go, no, my eyes are weird. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I really don't mean to cough. I really, really don't mean to cough. So, on that note, I'm just going to see if my tea is too hot to drink. Because we've been recording for over 15 minutes. Yep, still too hot. And I found another Z. Will I find it again? Who knows? I was looking right at it, right here. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. Really don't. Could be an hour long. Could be longer. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just depends on how much we get done. Also depends on if my dad comes down here to bug me or not. Because as soon as I walked in the door, can you check my phone? No problem. So I talked to him for a total of maybe two minutes. Maybe, no, five. Five. I lied. I talked to him for five minutes. Just, uh, you know, hey, how was your day? Oh, I saw that you went shopping. Type deal. Go. Oh. Yeah. And then the one doctor that I saw today, of course I work with, she likes to compliment me on my mothering skills. And I'm like, I really don't feel like I'm as, as, many, as, a, as amazing as you say I am. But thank you. Thank you so much. We try our best. But it's a village raising this kid. It's not just me. <laughs> He's got his two sets of grandparents. He's got my sister-in-law, he's got me, he's got his dad. We all work together. And this kid is too smart for his own good. I mean it, this kid is, is too smart for his own good. He may not be able to read like a sentence or a word, but if you ask him to spell a word, he will he will spell out a word. If you look at the numbers here, he will tell you every single number and he will count them all one by one. When, um, he doesn't like me reading to him anymore. He likes to make up stories on his own, but he'll flip through the book and he'll look at the pages. And one of my books, it has 200 pages in it because it's like six or seven stories in one. And he'll look at me and then he'll look at the page and he'll go, this is page 148. This is page 136. Or 136. And I'll be like, well, it's 136. And then he'll look at me again and go, 136. And then, oh my god, at night, it's hilarious when I'm putting him to sleep. Because he'll sing episodes, like I've said before. He'll, he'll talk and say episodes of tv shows that he watched he goes m is for monkey monkeys go ooh, ooh, ee, ah, ah. wow that's so good you did it to to compliment himself so yeah that's what he does to put himself to sleep and he'll do this for about two minutes, and then he'll concrete out. I'm like, okay, whatever, whatever makes you happy. But he'll he'll recite full, 
full episodes of whatever he's watching. He kills me. This this kid kills me. In a good way. Don't get me wrong. In a good way. But it, it's really funny. So we'll see what he has to sing tonight. Because um, I want to tell you. So I took him with me to the pharmacist on, on Tuesday. So we walked almost two hours. There and back. Took him with me to the pharmacist. He was getting anxious because he really wanted out of the stroller. So I said, no, 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 we're going to leave in a couple minutes. And then he looked up and he goes, ice cream cone, please. I said, because you said please, we will walk all the way to the ice cream shop. No problem. And even the pharmacist was like, oh, but now he's so good. Now you have to take him because he said please. I'm like, I know. I know. So we will go. So we walked. An extra 10 minutes to get ice cream. So we got a less sugar chocolate ice cream cup. I did a cup. And it was like, I'm going to do this. It's like, here's the cup. Let's go more. It was like this full. It was super full. Like super, super full. But we finished it. We finished it. And then we went home. And by then, we were both exhausted, him from just being out in the fresh air and with him, you know, with that coffin stuff. Would he go for a nap? No. Are you kidding me? No. No. No, no, no. No. So we relaxed. And then he went outside for another, like, 30 minutes with my dad in the afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, because we left just before, we left, I'm going to say 20 after 10 is when we left. We got home just after 12, I think. Mm, I don't remember. I don't remember. I think it was just after 12. We were gone for almost two hours. It was a very long walk, but I like long walks like that. And I take the back routes. I, whoop, I take the back routes. I don't I don't take the main roads. So on our walk, he would just name all the vehicles. Oh, there's there's a red truck. Bye red truck. That is a yellow car. Bye yellow car or whatever color I just said. Um and then when he didn't see any cars on the road or vehicles, he would go Bye-bye vehicles, bye-bye vehicles, bye-bye vehicles. So, yeah. Big words for this little man. And you would not think he was three years old. You would definitely think he was older. But no, he's, he's three. He goes to school next year. We'll see how he does. He knows how to spell his name. Well, the first four letters of his name, but he knows how to spell them. So we shall see what they say in school. I'm just hoping he won't be bored. You know, because some kids are like that. They just, they get bored. There we go. Yes, I'm too lazy to put paper here, so I'm like reaching right over. We'll, we'll do this so that you can see more as long as I don't knock it over. Yeah, that, that was, that, that, that's been it. Yesterday I worked. I pushed my sleep all the way till basically the last minute. I got home. I showered last night. And then, yeah. Today was work. 
very boring at work today, even with three doctors, because they weren't really booked up. Tomorrow will be the same. The doctors will be done super early. And me and, sorry, one coworker will be by ourselves for the rest of the day. I think starting around 1.30. So that's an hour and a half. Not the most fun. Okay. I am going to finish up next little bit. And then I'm going to drink some of my tea so they don't have to hear me slurping. And take a quick, quick break and we will come back to this. I just want to finish up. There we go. This little section that's like right here. Because then we'll move on to the next color. Wait, let's see if there's any more Fs. Not that I can really, really see. I mean, there are. I missed this whole section down there. That's okay. I say that as I get stuck. But that's okay. I said the one thing I don't like about multiplacers is you think you have it in a great spot and then you realize, mm, nope. That's okay. I guess that we're getting it done. Yay! And I'm keeping the colors out anyways because, you know, might need them again. Because I might have missed one. Who knows? But as we get more and more done, like I said, it makes it easier to see. All right. I believe that's all the F's done that I can see. Like I said, I'm going to take a quick break, and then I shall be right back. All right, I am back, and we are now on the letter J. Like I said, we are getting through this. Woot, woot. I took a little break. I drank a little bit of my tea. Got myself all situated. I feel a lot better. Hopefully tomorrow my nose will feel better. <laughs> yeah, with this weather, um, yeah, so it's the weather, my, my little one. Uh, there's lots of construction happening around my house or my neighborhood, plus where my work is because right across is a new condo building that's being built. And, oh my god, when I'm walking down the street and they're working, it's like dust central because of the dirt. And then once I get into work, it's so dry that just everything combined just makes me feel, to put it nicely, like, like poop. Like just everything combined just makes me feel like poop. And I'm just like, oh. And it doesn't get any better in the winter. I mean, there won't be as much construction in the winter time, but um, where did that fly? Okay, I'll I'll go with it. I don't know where that flew, but okay.
yeah, it's just, it's horrible. It's, it's not fun at all. Is there lots of construction where you guys live, where my lovelies live? I'm pretty sure there's construction everywhere because, you know, yay. Yay, construction. Yeah, there's lots of condos being built. In the next few years, um, one of the plazas by my house, that uh, half of it's being torn down for more. I'm not sure if it's condos or apartment buildings. I know it's not affordable housing. I can tell you that much. Yeah, there, there's no such thing as affordable housing where I live. There, there really isn't. I don't know about where you all live, but where I live, nope. Nope, nope. And where I also live, they were going to tear down some of the green belts because apparently they got the license to do that. And now it's like, no. No, 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 no. You're not allowed to tear down any part of the green belt. So they have to look elsewhere to build houses. There's a reason why it's called the green belt. So we'll see what happens in the next little while, few years. Because, yeah. So where I live, unless they buy the town that's beside us, there is no more land to build. The only way they can build is up. Yeah, you heard that right. We have a no more land. There's farmland that surrounds my town, but it belongs to another town so unless they like I said they buy them there is nope no land and at this point I'm just pulling stuff out of my head just to talk about <laughs> And it's really funny because, like I said, I talk about work a lot. I know at work because they're like my work family. They're like, wow, you know so much. I go, because I got bored and I'll look up stuff. Or this person was my doctor at one point in time. And I know kind of his schedule from X amount of years ago. So, yeah. I don't mean to be a know-it-all. I don't try to be a know-it-all. I just like to look stuff up and share the knowledge. You know? But look at that. We are we are slowly getting the jades done. Cuz I'm kind of just talking and I'm not really paying attention to time and all of that which also means I just love hanging out with everybody and I know there's some comments that I haven't gotten to to reply yet I definitely will I'm sorry if I haven't. I promise I will I will check all my YouTube stuff and I will go through all my comments and take a look and reply. Um Amanda, when you are watching this, uh tomorrow 
I'm going to finally mail out the um, the cross stitch. I just have to get you an envelope and then I'm going to mail it out. And by the end of next week, you should hopefully have it. And I, or at least, you know, mention in a comment in one of my future videos or even email me when you get it. Because my plan is to send it out tomorrow. Because I have to go to the post office to do that. So, cross your fingers, knock on wood. You will be getting it soon. Um, yeah, because I don't do counted. And hopefully your daughter will like it once it's completed. I'm sure she will. It's, it's a nice cross stitch, don't get me wrong. I just don't do counted. Maybe one day in the future I will, but for now, no. I just don't have the brain power for it. Not only that, I stop and start and I get distracted with my little one when he's crying at night. Or when he wakes up at night. So, yeah, no, no, no counted for me. Just stamped. Which, as you all know, I have a lot of, and I'm only order, and you know, I'm ordering more and more and more. I'm just taking a look quickly. Besides here, is there any more J's? I see a Z. quickly grab that. No, all the J's are here. Okie dokie. Just get a shake. I'm just going to take that off. Oh, I found an F. See, like I said, I'll find them as I get stuff done. Like I also said, I go by like from number 1 to 20, so... The next one will be C, which is 318. Once we are done with all of these lovely J's. So, yeah. Does anybody have any plans for tonight? For tomorrow? What's everybody working on? I noticed that Paint Some Way, and I think Koo Deals has this canvas. And the only reason why I know that is because when I get their emails... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to go take a quick thing of tea. Um, it shows me what kind of diamond paintings they have. So definitely more than Timu has this canvas.
one thing I like about coup deals is that you can pick square or round and what size that you like. So I'm definitely getting a lot of mine done in like 50 by 70s because they're not overly big but they're not too too small either so we will see once I start a 50 by 70 I'm I, I won't lie to you I'm not a fan of the bite size or snack size whatever you want to call them and the only reason is because I, I really want whatever I don't sell to be all around my house and I want them nice and big Whenever, whenever we get a house. Thought I had a lucky ticket. Clearly not. So I got one more. I won't lie, I got one more. So I'm crossing my fingers and toes. I'm not asking for much, just enough to get a house. Because houses are expensive. They really are. You can even look it up. Look up average houses in Ontario. Of course, they'll probably give you the GTA, which is where I live. I live in the GTA, which is the greater Toronto area. I'm not going to say my town or anything, but it is the greater Toronto area. And yeah, it'll be very, very expensive. And they even say the only way that millennials will get a house is if their parents help them. That's not going to happen in my case. Not going to happen. So I just got to keep saving, saving, saving. Right? Like most people who don't have their own house, just keep saving. Sorry, every time I think I have one on my little hooked placer it falls out i'm just gonna sit back for a moment because my left shoulder is apparently starting to hurt from the way that i'm positioned ay, ay, ay. if it's not one thing it is another There we go, I believe. Yep, that is all for the J's. So we're going to look for 318. Like I said, I have all the trays around me. So we're on the letter C, which doesn't look like there's a lot. But we'll see, right? Yes, that was a horrible pun and that was not intended. Oh, I know I saw one down here, I believe. Well, maybe not. Oh, yes, I did. All the way down here. There, so I'll pull that back. A lot of it's just to, like, close off areas. Which is totally fine. Because we like confetti. Confetti makes the image pop. It's 
especially in the bottom of the book, you know? Again, sorry to go quiet. I'm honestly just trying to think of random things to talk about. Watching Ink Master at night, just on YouTube for something to watch. And most of the time it's the same clips over and over again. And that's because I refuse to buy the actual seasons. They're very expensive. Hopefully one day Paramount Plus Canada will have all the seasons. So far, it's only in the States. We have season 14, which is nice, but there's only so many times you can watch the same season. So we'll see what happens. And we'll see if there's a season 15 because I believe I saw casting calls or canvas calls, whatever you want to call it, on my Instagram since I follow them on Instagram. And yes, there are some artists I would kill for a tattoo from. I just can't afford their prices. Oh, I missed an E. So 168, I think that's right here. Where did I see that E right here? There we go. Yes, I realized I put it upside down. That's the way that I grabbed it. See, like I said, as I do more and more, I'll see the, the letters that I, I kind of missed. Or smack here. I'm just going to move my camera just a tad. Fiddle around. The next color is the H's, and it seems like they're mostly on this side, but that's okay again. We will do what we can today. We got a couple colors done. I'm happy. We finished the Zeds. We did two, three, four. We're on color number five. I'm a happy camper. But because I'm like all twisted and not exactly straight in my desk. Whoop! Okay, yeah, sure, that's exactly what I wanted. Sorry about that. Just trying to fix myself, but clearly nothing wanted to be fixed, and I smacked my camera. Not so much my camera, but the, the stand that it's on. And I have the sniffles, so I'll probably take another sip of tea. Just to, to help my throat. I do have a box of Kleenex nearby, but I'm not going to do that on camera. No, that's just gross. That is just gross.
There we go. Like I said, slowly, slowly, slowly getting us done. I'm super excited. You can see more of the tree now because this is all the tree here. There's the book. Just taking a look if there's any more seas on this side. Yeah, that's a C because the O is a different color. Like I said, it's kind of like filling in the different areas. I know I'm jumping all over the place. That's what I do. Once I see a, a letter, I just kind of jump wherever it is. Again, for the other canvases, I do have washi tape, so I'll make them smaller areas just to get it done probably a little bit faster. But we'll see. Rather than, here's a big chunk, here's a big chunk, you know, we did this chunk, and then now I'm doing this one, and, you know, from... Let's not do that. From here down, we did X, Y, Z. Here we go. Yes, I'm bouncing from here to here to up here, wherever I see a sea. And if I miss one again, that's okay, because as I get more and more done, as you can clearly tell, it's easier to see because it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. Just a tad. Folding chairs, not the most comfy. I mean, I could probably grab a pillow and put it behind me, but that's too much work. And it looks like I'm going to have to fill up this tray again. Because there are a lot of seas. Like a lot. There we go.
If you see the table shaking, that's just me shaking my little tray. I do this just to flip over the diamonds that are upside down. And here we go. Oof, my back. I know, I'm quiet. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be. What else can I tell you? I rewatched The Little Mermaid. <laughs> the live action one. I'm still in the I don't hate it. Um, some parts, yes, I like. But other parts, I'm just like, mm -hmm, no. So, I don't know if anybody else feels that way as well, but so far for live action remakes, I did like Milan. I liked Aladdin. My partner hates it. Um, Beauty and the Beast, I enjoyed for the most part. Um... I'm not going to lie, I wasn't a big fan of Emma Watson as Belle, but that that's just my opinion. Um, Cinderella, all-time favorite. I like what they did with that one. Uh, Maleficent, um, I didn't hate, but I didn't like. If that makes sense. I don't know what other live actions. Pinocchio. Um, uh, on the fence. I'd probably have to rewatch it. <laughs> All right. I won't lie. I wasn't paying attention. And then it cut me off. Okay. So Pinocchio. I was saying I need to rewatch. Cruella. I enjoyed. Um, I think that's it for live action remakes. Yes, that's it for live action. I mean, there's Maleficent too, but that's not a remake. That's just a continuation. Um, I think I was talking about Cruella, which I really, really enjoyed. Uh, I can't think of anything else. I know I'm in the minority for Mulan, but I really did enjoy it because it is based somewhat mostly off the ballad. Um, that's it. Yeah, Cinderella, I really, really like. Um, I won't get into the live action Snow White. I really won't. Um, yeah. Uh, that's all I can say about that. I really haven't watched anything new. Um, I've been watching stuff on YouTube. Like I said, the same people over and over again. Those that I'm subscribed to. Um, which is a lot of different channels for crafting. Or at least I'm doing my best to watch everybody. Most of the time, I'll put them on in the background when I am cross-stitching. And then I'll comment while I'm on... I'll watch them on my TV, but I'll comment on my phone. Because it's just easier. Um, I'll probably go for another, like, 15 minutes with this. Just because I know it's already, like, an hour long. 
Uh, thank you for those that have watched this far. You guys are amazing. Um, Saturdays will continue with the dragon. See how far we get for that one. Um, next Saturday, I don't believe I'll be around. It's my mom's birthday. So we are, I believe we're going out for her dinner for her birthday. Well, that's where it flew to. I found it. Remember when the weird one flew away from me? There we go. Put that back in its place. But yeah, if we can finish this color and we'll see if we finish the H's. We'll have most of it done. Most of it. Which is pretty cool when you think about it. We'll probably get it done next week. Because I don't even think like next Thursday's all that busy. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Or if I have to, I'll record tomorrow as well. You know what? I'll record some more tomorrow when I get home. That sounds like a plan so that we can get this done. Um, and then October 1st, which falls on a Sunday, we will start with our Halloween diamond paintings. So please get out your Halloween diamond paintings. Follow along if you'd like. We'll have lots and lots of fun. We'll get as much done as possible before Halloween. It'll be fun, I promise. It'll be lots of fun. I know there are people in probably that watch that don't celebrate Halloween, but that's okay. You don't have to celebrate Halloween. That's okay. If you like the diamond paintings, just do one. If you don't, that's okay too. Grab a different diamond painting. I think that's it for C's. Again, if I see any more, don't you worry. I have... No, oh, I found one. It's all the way at the bottom here. I have it out. We are now going to H's, which is 340, which is like another purpley color. Just make a mess, apparently. Trying to get rid of this bag. Okay, H's. Let's get these done. It's kind of another color that's, you know, um, the confetti color that fills in and completes areas, which is super nice. I definitely thought when I, I saw this image, it would be a lot more white. <laughs> but clearly it is not. It is a multitude of colors, which is actually really, really nice. So I'm just going to finish 
this area up down here. I did find another O that or C C that I missed. That's okay. There we go. If my voice cuts out, I am so sorry. It's because now I've been talking for over an hour and my voice does not like that. I'm also on the phones pretty much all day answering phone calls, talking to patients. My first, okay, I don't call people till nine, but my first hour to two hours is basically making calls. Yeah, that that's my, my first hour to two hours at work, no matter the day, is just calling people. Which is a okay in my book. If I'm not, like I said, if I'm not on the phone, I'm doing testing for patients. So I'm always talking. Always. And today I got to be the patient. So that was, that was fun. And my coworker who was doing all the testing, she goes, it's really weird talking to you like a patient and telling you what to do. I'm like, yeah, it's fine. Fine. Do whatever you need to do. I'm, I'm pretty easy going. You want to take 10 pictures on my eye? Take 10 pictures. Is it blinding? Yes, it is. But then I get to feel what the patient feels at the same time and what they get to look at. So, yeah. Oh, look, another C. See, I find them as I complete or do more colors. Yeah, we'll probably finish with this color. I'll record more tomorrow, get more done. Bit by bit by bit, right? There we go. After this, well, you know, the video's uploading. I'm going to eat. After I eat, I'll wash my hands and cross stitch until little man gets home which is usually in like another two hours roughly two hours so it's all good and honestly I won't lie I just feel like a tuna sandwich <laughs> that's all I feel like eating right now is something fast and simple because I really don't want anything. I know that sounds really weird. Who just eats a tuna sandwich? I do. Me, that's who. So I'm just trying to like that H in there. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Yes, if I don't record, I will always let you know if I do an extra recording. I'll try to do extra recording, especially on Fridays when I get home super early. Depending on the Friday. Like next Friday, my mom and I are getting our nails done. That'll be fun. It's her birthday present, so she gets an extra birthday present from me. Kind of like a girl's girl time, mummy and daughter time, basically. 
doesn't take long anyways. So I can probably record right after. And then next Saturday, I'm not going to record again because we're going to go out. And my brother and his fiance are coming. And I feel like I have to sneeze. And I really don't want to because I'm almost done. <laughs> This is that time of year. Just, you know, everybody gets sick. And it sucks. And people are getting sick because now we're staying inside more. That's fine. That is fine. As long as people don't come to my work sick with like fevers and shit we're fine sorry for swearing um because even today we got a call from somebody oh my daughter has a low grade fever this and that nope we'll reschedule for next week or the following week i think i did it for the following week when they are feeling better Okay, I think that's it for H's, and no, it's not. But that is it for me today. I hope, again, everybody has a wonderful Thursday night, Friday, whatever day or time it is in the world for you. Um, I will record some more of this tomorrow, so we'll continue on with the V's, which is pretty much up here and a little down here. A little here and we'll just continue on until basically there's only a few colors left and we are done uh thank you so much if you've stuck through all through this whole through this entire video is what i'm trying to say but clearly i cannot talk i will see you all later thank you my new subscribers thank you my i'm gonna call you my old timers um if you're not subscribed to my channel, please, please, please hit the subscribe button. Please like and comment my video and hit the little bell so you get notifications of when I do my next videos. Thank you. Love you all.